Welcome. Today I'm presenting to you a peacock tablescape, in fact two peacock tablescapes, and this is actually a challenge to any creators who would like to participate as well. Please, if you get inspired, you can do your own tablescape and upload it to the playlist that will be linked in my description box. So before I get to those tablescapes, I just want to explain a bit about how this tablescape came to be and share some of the pieces that I will be using in my tablescape. So both Debbie Bubbles and Glamour Ellen have done peacock themed tablescapes in the past. And I remember watching both and just admiring them so much. They were gorgeous. And I got so inspired to do one as well. But I had nothing peacock other than my pendant, my little necklace pendant here. I shouldn't say little, it's huge. Um, but you know, I kind of took this out and I looked at it and it's so pretty and I watched both Debbie's and Ellen's videos and I just got inspired. So because I didn't have any peacock items, I was on the hunt for some items and I went on to Facebook Marketplace, which I go on to a lot for shopping and I found some really fantastic items for really great prices. So I'm going to share with you the first little item that I purchased and it's this black and gold peacock. Um, it's a Christmas tree ornament. You can see here it's got some, I hope you can see it, it's got some gold little curly cues here and some what look like diamonds, they're actually plastic. And that was the first piece I purchased and I loved it. So I included this in one of my tablescapes. Then the next item I got, or items, were two exact vases like this. They are originally from Pier 1. They were $39.99 each. And they are see-through glass with sort of this transfer peacock on it. And because they're see-through, you didn't get the image of the peacock really clearly here. You kind of see the other image on the back here. So I just simply taped some paper inside and you can see the image much, much better. So I like that. So look out for these two in both tablescapes. And then the last piece that I purchased, I'm falling off my chair here. Uh, the last piece I purchased was this gorgeous peacock. I hope this comes through. It's so tall. So the story is that the woman selling it said it was just slightly over two feet tall. So I measured my area between my tabletop and the bottom of my light fixture and I thought, oh, this is going to fit perfectly. So I purchased it. I brought it home. It does not fit. The woman quite underestimated the height of this and perhaps she didn't include the height of the top here. I think this might be called the plume. Um, and so you're going to see this in the second tablescape, but you'll see it behind my light fixture rather than in the center, right in the center of the table, like I had originally imagined it. So look out for that. It might look a little bit funny, but uh, you know, I had already purchased it, but I'm so happy to have this. I think this may stay out in my decor somewhere in the house all year round because I really like this piece. And so that's it for my purchases, but I also have something I'm including in both tablescapes and I will share this with you. I found this gorgeous print online and I just sort of had to incorporate it somehow. And if you guys watch me regularly, you'll know that I often incorporate some sort of paper into my tablescapes. And what I did was I cut out a circle as a little template and you're going to see how I used these circles on both tablescapes in two different ways. So look out for that. And so I want to thank both Debbie and Ellen for agreeing to do this with me. I contacted the both of them and asked if they would be interested and they were both on board right away. And um, if again, if you would like to take part in this challenge, please do. You can upload to the playlist anytime. 
And I would love to know your comments. Which tablescape do you like better? One is a sort of a peacock blue turquoise color. The other one is a little bit more royal or navy blue. And I would love to know which one appeals to you better. So thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Your comments are always welcome. If you haven't already and you watch my videos on a fairly regular basis, I would love if you subscribed. It's free, no fee involved. So that would be great. Now let's get to our tablescape.